Hey friends, uh, just so you know, I'm recording this on a boat, so uh, there might be background noises and I just recorded a video and the uh, camera was sort of like flashing in and out and uh, sort of like zooming in and zooming out because of the motion. And uh, just please know that and forgive that. And uh, in a way, I think that's perfect for what I want to talk about right now. Um, I think this uh, frame is also sort of tilted. So perfect for what I want to talk about, which is the idea of awkwardness and um, a, a phrase that's been in my life called just a tad awkward. Um, I, I'm a little awkward. I don't know. I'll be awkward in this video while I talk about things and I'm okay with that. I've come to accept that and love that about myself, not just as something that's like a weakness that I need to overcome or something, but actually something that I've made really part of myself and how I show up in the world where it's like, yeah, okay, I'm a little awkward. Uh, that's all right. I still love myself. I'm pretty awesome. Um, and this shows up in a lot of ways in a lot of my projects. And I want to talk about that. Um, I think, you know, there's so much stuff out there these days that's like very polished, just very polished, done to a T. And that's good. It's fine to have polish. Um, but uh, that can sort of uh, hamper us in thinking, oh, we if we want to do something in the world, we have to be that polished, right? Um, say you want to make a video. Oh, it has to be super polished. There's all these videos on YouTube that are like really cool and really well done and very fancy editing. And that's great. I love watching those. And at the same time, I like recording these videos that are just like me talking. And if you want to watch it, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh, it's not some big media studio that I'm in. It's just my phone and a little tripod and I'm on a boat and there's background noise and maybe the camera is like going in and out and this frame is sort of t off tilt and I don't know, maybe my hair is a little disheveled or my sash is a little wrinkly. It's like, all right, that's real. That's real. That's, that's, that's actually real. Uh, that's what's here right now. That's who I am. That's the situation I find myself in. Let me show you reality rather than some sort of like polished, manicured, fake, artificial thing that isn't real. Um, it's fine to do some things with polish. Um, I like to, you know, really polish my writing, for example. Uh, I feel proud of my writing and I want to write things that are excellent, especially, you know, like written essays or books or something like that. Um, but in certain contexts, typos are fine or grammatical errors or, you know, things that might not make sense for people. That's also okay. And um, I really want to allow myself the space to be imperfect and to make mistakes or not do things very smoothly. And, um, you know, like with speaking right now, like if I say, uh, or like, or, you know, stumble on myself or um, need to take a minute to think about what I'm thinking about, that's okay. That's normal. Everyone does that. And um, I want to allow myself the space to do that. And um, also, I mean, I guess sort of demonstrate that for the world of like, hey, it's okay to be who you are as you are, even if it's a little awkward or unpolished or, you know, your hair is messy or, I don't know, you get something in your teeth or, you know, you forget that your fly is down. It's like, all right, that's a little awkward. That's a little uncomfortable. Moving on. Not a big deal. Uh, everybody has had stuff like this happen to them. And um, I want to allow that within myself, just internally, like unconditionally, like that's okay. That's okay. I still love you. And uh, that's a self-love practice for me. And then also I want to be sharing that with the world in what I do. Like, it's okay to be awkward or imperfect or unpolished. You can still do cool things that you're excited about that help people. That shouldn't be something that blocks you from showing up in the world to your life. Um, you should be who you are and show up the way that you want to. Um, I think another area that that shows up is um, maybe my podcast. I don't know. I don't put a lot of work into editing my podcast, I will like remove things if a guest asks me to, or, you know, maybe clip the beginning and the end or something, but I don't put a lot of work to like adding music or, you know, I don't remove ums and ahs, there's silences. Maybe that makes it a bit longer, but I want to show what's real, a real conversation that two or more people actually had. And that's okay. Um, it's a real conversation. It's not fake. It's not uh, artificial. Uh, it's not, uh, what's the word? sort of like uh, produced. It's not this big occasion that you set up all the circumstances to make it happen in just a certain way. Um, 
Another thing is is my dancing. I don't know, I dance a lot. I share dance with the world with meta dance parties and um, that's an important part of my loving kindness practice. And I wanna be like kind of a goofy guy that dances and I know be okay with that. Like maybe I haven't done formal dance training or I'm not the most elegant, graceful dancer of all time. I can still have fun. I can still love myself. I can still enjoy moving my body and uh, benefit from that. I can do I can do loving kindness practice, which I love while dancing and just have a good time. And that's fine. Uh, uh, it's great. I have a great time. It's one of my favorite things to do in the world. And um, I think just doing that, just demonstrating that is, um, I guess, kind of a public service of like, it's okay for me to be me and I'm gonna show you who I am and just show up the way I wanna show up. And I think like even just like dancing in a field somewhere, which I love to do, I'll like take my phone and headphones and um, go somewhere and dance in some random field with, you know, on a sunny day. It's like, if people see me, they're like, huh, that's interesting. Like that guy, what's he doing? Um, and I think people can feel the love that I have for myself and the joy that I have when I dance. And that's always true with everybody when they do the thing that they love. And um, that's a kind of public service that we do just to show up as we are, as who we actually are. Not, not some imagined version of ourselves that's a concept that we thought up or that we thought we were supposed to be, that someone else told us we were supposed to be that way. Um, you know, I've had all kinds of heroes in my life who I really admired and some of whom were very polished, just very polished. Um, you know, uh, they like really do their, you know, they really do their thing just very smoothly and perfectly. And it's like, almost seems like divine or like godly. And um, that's great. That inspired me. Those are good qualities. Nothing wrong with being polished in certain contexts, but I'm not that. That's not who I am. I'm a little awkward and clunky and I don't know, I move a little weird or I, I don't know, it shows up in all kinds of ways, but um, that's okay. I think I'm great. I love myself. I love the things that I do that I share with the world. I just want to do me and share that with the world and be of benefit in that way, doing the things that I feel called to do without um, getting artificially worried about like, oh, you know, do am I as polished as someone else or how does my hair look or I don't know anything like that. It's like that's that's just doesn't that's not important to me. That's not essential to who I am or how I want to show up in the world. Um, again, it's, it, this is a decision we all have to make and there's nothing wrong with polish in certain contexts. Um, I do prioritize that in certain things, but I think we have to be willing to be ourselves and we have to be willing to be imperfect and uh, be a little awkward and make mistakes and uh, do things sloppily. And if we're sort of perfectionistic about our life, that can block you from doing the things you care most about and really from giving the gifts that you're here to give as far as I'm concerned. So uh, I really want people to feel comfortable being who they are and feel comfortable showing up in the way that they feel called. Um, you know, I'm recalling that uh, one of my heroes with this is uh, when I was in middle school, the film Napoleon Dynamite came out and I was, I just thought that film was so cool at the time and probably watched it like four or five times. And, you know, um, Napoleon like perfectly exemplifies this. He's uh, really goofy and like really awkward, like much more awkward than I am, although um, I'm probably less awkward than I used to be. But, um, you know, some of those scenes are just so like, oh, this is uncomfortable, it's cringe, whatever. Uh, and yet there's a kind of like almost like majesty in him just being who he is. And, um, you know, it's been a while since I watched it, but there's this scene at the end with him dancing and that became very famous at the time. And uh, that was like, yeah, that's him. That's how he dances. That's how he expresses himself. And it's it's magnificent that he's just like willing to be who he is, willing to show up. And uh, I think that, that that's the kind of quality that you can have if you're not afraid to put yourself out there and just be who you are and show up with the thing that you want to. And obviously it's context dependent on who you are and you know, maybe what fears you have or what skills you have or how you want to show up in the world. Um, you know, privacy is always a concern, but um, I don't know. I'm rambling now, but that's okay. That's awkward. I'm allowed to be awkward. Uh, you get to decide how you live your life. And I just hope that people are really who they are in the way that they show up with themselves internally and in the choices that they make in their life and, and, and whatever kind of... Um, energy they put out into the world, whatever kind of projects or um, art or uh, 
anything like that that's expressing who you are, I, I hope that people give themselves permission to be who they are. And, um, you know, even just for myself, allowing myself to be who I am and to love myself unconditionally as the person that I actually am has been so instrumental in, in kind of being happy rather than forcing myself to be someone that I'm not trying to fit myself into some box that doesn't fit. Um, I just feel a lot happier this way and uh, that feels great internally and then of course I want to share it with you and with other people of like hey it's okay to live this way it's okay to be a little awkward it's okay to be a little unpolished it's okay to stumble on your words or move awkwardly or have a typo or you know forget to attach something to an email or however it shows up in your life that's okay things will move on you're still you you're still wonderful you still have all of the gifts and amazing qualities that you have and, um, you know, it's, it's beautiful when those qualities come out into the world and it's sort of tragic when people hide themselves and don't give what they have to give. So um, I hope that this has been interesting for you and uh, yeah, it's okay to be a little awkward.